Hi, this is Larry Greenberg here, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the new Apple TV 3.0 software that was just launched. This is the main page that you're first brought to when you open up Apple TV, and this page has totally been redesigned. You can see across the front you have links to all of the content that is stored on your Apple TV in the form of movies, TV shows, music, podcasts, photo, the internet, and then all your settings. Now the settings tab has remained relatively unchanged. Even when you access each individual category, this screen and the screens just like it have remained relatively the same as they were in the previous version of the Apple TV software. The internet tab, in addition to adding YouTube, and you can see on the top now there are hot links in the form of pictures to videos that are featured on YouTube. So these are all the featured videos that are currently on YouTube and by clicking on one it automatically jumps to that video. And that's a new feature that they've just added. Don't know what this video is but we'll exit it and go back. In addition to the YouTube portion of the internet they've now added a feature called radio where you can actually access internet radio over your Apple TV. And here are all the different stations that they have. Um, you know, you can access a station and it'll start playing um, different songs, different stations that you select. So I don't really, I'm not familiar with too many of these internet radio stations, but let's just pick one. They give you a little brief description over the side there. And if I'm quiet, you should be able to hear it. I don't have my TV turned up quite so loud, but it's actually playing now. So that's brand new. You can see there to the left, they have a little bit of a description as to you know where the station's from. This is a Canadian jazz station and so forth. So I'll go back to the main screen. The next tab is photos. This is relatively unchanged. You still have a link to your photos. These are my photos that I have stored in iPhoto on my computer downstairs. And then I also have a link to my mobile me account, Flickr, and then of course the settings. What's new here is just like all the other tabs, you have hot links to your recent albums, things that you accessed most recently, and you can immediately jump to them um, just by clicking on one of them to access all the photos. Then you can start a slideshow right away. These are some of my firefighting pictures, and you know you can start a slideshow right from there or just look at one individual picture at a time. So let me jump back. Podcasts is the next section. I don't really have any podcasts loaded on my personal um, Apple TV. I sync those with my iPhone. But again, you can view the top podcasts from iTunes and you can click on one and listen to it right away. Or you can search, simply search by genre and you know view them all that way. Um, or you can actually search for a specific one by typing in the name and it'll bring it up for you as well. So let me jump back. Music, uh, same thing. You now, though, have LPs of the top songs in iTunes that you can actually um, select. Um, you know, I don't know too many of these songs. I do recognize Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus, um, but there's Jay-Z. Um, I know that's a popular song right now. You can click on it and be brought to um, the iTunes uh, store where I could purchase it if I want to. Um, there's the whole album, the LP album actually, and I can scroll through and pick the different songs out that I want um, and purchase it directly from the iTunes app store or select a preview if I want and actually hear the song play uh, a little preview just like you can in iTunes. So you can hear that. Let me pause that and go back. So that's a quick overview of the music section. The TV shows and movies are very similar. Again, I have hot links to my unwatched TVs and then across the top, top TV shows in iTunes. If I scroll down to my TV shows, it actually brings up a list of all the shows that I have stored on my Apple TV or in iTunes. And um, the same goes for top TVs, that's things in iTunes. Again, I can search by genre. I can search, search specific to high definition shows, the networks, or search. And then movies, again, links at the top show me all my unwatched programs, movies I haven't watched, and then across the top even further, are the top movies that are located in iTunes. I can search through my specific movies that I've synced to this device, 
or I can search through the top movies, again, HD. I can search by name. I can watch movie trailers if I want. Again, this, this part is nothing really new to iTunes, or to Apple TV, rather. It's still um, there, uh, carried over from the old software version. In the settings, again, relatively unchanged. You have things like setting up your iTunes App Store account. You can set up remotes, control it with your iPhone, and things like that. Um, this is where you would update the software version. Uh, other settings in here are what you'd use for the screensaver. I have mine just to set as photos. Um, audio and video settings. AirTunes, the computer that I'm actually synced with. I have my Apple TV syncing wirelessly. Anything I've downloaded and then putting it in standby. So that's a brief look at the new Apple TV 3.0 software. If you have any questions about it, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, you have a great day.